Just in case you couldn't tell from my thumbnail, which I had great fun taking the photo for, um, today I'm going to be doing a review of Wild Deodorant. So stick with me if you want to hear about my experience with this kind of sustainable, kinder to the planet and to you deodorant. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. It's lovely to have you here. If this is your first time chancing on my channel, welcome. And um, Self Care Karen is all about empowering busy women to feel their best and give their best. And I provide content on my channel such as beauty product reviews. I do one a week um, and I love, love sharing my um, honest reviews with you. And also I upload self-care kind of bigger or broader self-care topics so I've got hundreds literally hundreds of guided meditations here for you I'll put a playlist here for the guided meditations and also at the moment every Monday I'm uploading a an emotional freedom techniques you might notice tapping sequence so if you have never heard of that before or you know all about it you might just want to check out um, that talking therapy because it is just so so useful and is really a cornerstone right now as is meditation to my kind of self-care practice. Anyway enough about that let's get into my review. So I decided to bite the bullet and invest in the wild deodorant and the reason I did this was because um, I have tried kind of more kind of natural deodorants in the past uh, and I say it like this because marketing is can be very very clever at times and sometimes something is billed as being natural or healthier or better for you and actually it's not really but anyway um i have tried some deodorants in the past not been a great success the last ones i tried uh, along this vein were from I got them from Holland and Barrett apparently they're not stocking them anymore I can't remember the brand I'm so sorry and I probably did speak about them I know I did a lush one I definitely reviewed a lush deodorant I'll put that video here but um and that didn't go well and then this one from Holland and Barrett which didn't go well for me either um because it actually caused kind of like a, a skin reaction on my armpits so I was a bit hesitant about trying out wild but I thought I would give it a go. And if you're on Instagram and you've ever kind of looked at anything to do with deodorant, you'll be bombarded with adverts, both from Wild and from Fussy. Uh, and I'm talking about in the UK. I'm not sure if these brands are actually available outside of the UK. But um, Fussy is coming. I've just broken out their deodorant today. So I'll be doing a review video in a month or so, I would imagine, or maybe a bit longer so uh, you know subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit the notifications bell anyway with the wild and with fussy as well you have to make kind of like an initial investment because you need to buy the actual well need do you need to you could probably get away with not having the case and just using the refill but it would be i guess a little bit messy um anyway I I bought the case. Um, they do have a couple of choices. Oh, sorry, it's a bit dirty. I'll speak about that in a minute. Um, but I picked this kind of aquamarine colour. Um, I didn't really like any of the other ones. I'm not a massive fan of this colour, but it's okay. It's kind of in the vein of teal. It will do. Um, and I initially bought the fresh cotton and sea salt refill. So the, the actual... Um, the case and the refill came in this, or did it? I'm not sure if it did. It must, no, I think it must have all come in this box. And I got it from Superdrug. So um, you can buy it directly from Wild, but I prefer to buy it from, so they do like subscription service, like many of these uh, companies are doing now. But I decided to go with Superdrug because I wanted the points from Superdrug. 
and I've got I've even got a mobile phone package with Superdrug which gets me more points so every time I earn points I'm double points because of this mobile thing I mean I just I spend a lot of money in Superdrug it's important to me anyway so the first smell I was trying was the fresh cotton and sea salt and um, basically this is what is left of that fragrance when that kind of ran out what I decided to do was to buy a refill because I wanted to try a different smell um jasmine and mandarin blossom and I believe there are two other scents that are available from Superdrug. um one of them I think is called cotton candy which doesn't interest me and another one which I can't remember what it was but I was going to buy it and then I just thought you know what I'm going to move on to fussy now I want to I want to try it out but uh, Wild on their website actually have a lot more uh, fragrances that you can try. Anyway, I have to say uh, a couple of things, right? Actually, absolutely really love the fresh cotton and sea salt. Um, I'm not sure. At the beginning, it was very potent in smell. Still smelling now with what's left. Um, it's kind, yeah, there's definitely salt. What did they describe it as? I read it earlier and I thought, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Inspired by freshly washed linen drying in a cool seaside breeze, but without the kind of tackiness that sea salt um, and the beach and all of that does to your skin. I found this uh, easy to apply. They say do two swipes on your armpits. I sometimes kind of did a bit more, but um, it feels good. It doesn't leave to me a horrid residue. And what's more, I kind of got wafts of the fragrance throughout the day. It completely masked my um, BO. Um, and I do get quite strong BO if I don't have kind of like a good deodorant on. It, I do want to say, though, this is a deodorant. It is not an antiperspirant. So if you're looking to not perspire as much, this is not for you. Although I have to say, this kind of has worked better for me than many antiperspirants that I've tried in the past. It is aluminium free, which is an important thing if you're concerned about that from a health perspective. And it's 100% vegan. Um, what, just a couple of comments on the actual packaging. This, it does get very messy. Um, so every now and again, I would go around with a tissue and kind of clear clear the case off. And the other thing is switching out the refills. I actually found it to be really quite simple. I've got some footage of me um, changing over um, into the new fragrance, which is Jasmine and Mandarin Blossom. And actually, I have to tell you, I don't like this smell as much. It is kind of, it's sweet, but woody at the same time. Is that right? I just don't like personal preference. You know, I just don't like the scent as much. And what's more, I don't really get the wafts that I get with the other one. So yeah, I mean, I think that's just a, a question of using scents and uh, trying it out. Okay, so I am ready to change out the wild deodorant. There's still quite a lot in there, but now it hurts as I, or it's uncomfortable as I swipe my armpits. So it says I've got to, uh, Twist your case back down to the start and pinch the side buttons to take it apart. So I'm just going to go down all the way. You can see it's kind of going down here. Okay, that's it. Now there are two side buttons. It's a bit gunky around the top. I've got a picture on that as well. Uh, right, two side buttons and... oh. Right, just pull it out. Whoa! Okay, and now it's this. Okay, that had the deodorant in it. It's just fallen out. There's about that much left. Might be really, really penny pinching and use that up. Okay, this says refill. So I guess this one, different fragrance. This is Jasmine and Mandarin Blossom. Got to try a different smell. Oh, oh, come on. Right, ah, oh, okay, so it stays, I oh, know it doesn't, I have to take this off, I think. Right, great. Okay, and now, what did I actually do? I think now I put that on here. Okay, and then, oh, I'm just going to wipe this a little bit. Uh, how am I going to do that? Okay, I'm going to clean this up a bit because it's very golly golly golly. Oh. Okay, 
I must say, really like the smell of the whatever the good this aquamarine one. I think it's sea salt and something else, sea salt and fresh air or something crazy like that. Um, okay, I've cleaned that up. So now I've got this, and I'm just gonna click it in. I'm just gonna click it in, and I'm just gonna. No, nope, it's come apart. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Let's start again. Okay, I'm gonna do that and that, and then maybe what I have to do is click on the buttons as I go down. Yes. Okay. And then I just wind it back up and just over like that. Hmm. Just before I started filming, I thought I would um find out what they score on Yucca or Yucca, uh, Y-U-K-A, which is a website, it's an app I've got on my phone, um, where you can find out kind of like the kind of rating from a kind of health perspective and yeah, I guess it's health perspective um, for, they do food too, but but for beauty products. So um, let's put those on screen. I'm actually really surprised because I thought they were both going to score a lot higher. So this is what I say to you. I mean, you know, I guess I haven't gone into the depth of what the ingredients are that are flagging up and why they're flagging up. But yeah, I mean, it's, this is billed as being really natural. And I think psychologically natural, we think means good for you, uh, for the environment but maybe that's not the case. I have to say though, and you know, cause I want to be fair and, you know, unbiased as much as I can be. I haven't done the yucca for a, a, a more kind of synthetic deodorant. So I don't know how they would kind of compare, but anyway, so you can see the scores. Um, yeah, so actually I really like these and I would definitely repurchase them. I will, I definitely will because I've invested in this case. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, I, I will be buying them. But as I said, I'm, I'm going to try out the fussy ones. And again, I invested in the case there. Um, so watch out for that video. I was having brunch with my beloved cousin a few days ago. Um, and I was telling her about this and she was like, oh my God, yeah, I tried them too. And I hated it. And she kind of, it wasn't like she had a bad reaction, but she found that the deodorant um, got onto her clothes and kind of, over time produce kind of like a rancid smell on her clothes. Now, I have not found this at all in my experience, but um, I think it just goes to show we're all different and the reactions that we have to um, our body's reaction to what we put on it is, is you know, very individualised. And, um, you know, and I think it's it's sad that that's happened. She said to me something that was really interested, she, interesting. She said, when, what, because she's often looking like I am for kind of like more sustainable um, products, you know, in terms of packaging and what have you. And she said, she doesn't care. She wants an antiperspirant, right? She does, She's not caring about the kind of chemical situation around the actual product. But what she really does care about is the packaging because all of these um, kind of antiperspirant ones, kind of the the uh, usual suspects like Dove and Mum and all of the own brands and Nivea and what have you, Shaw, they do not have packaging or at least I've not seen packaging that is recyclable or it's all single use plastic and it's all it's not even using recycled pl plastic maybe they're going to start to introduce that now but that's where you know you really want to make an impact obviously you know it may be that you want the product as well to be like that but it's actually the packaging and anyway so she, she was explaining her experience so I put that in there because I just want you to know that Obviously, this is my review. This is my experience. If you were to try it, it might be different. Um, and if you have tried it, um, or you're thinking now of trying it or not trying it, then please let me know in the comments. Um, equally, if there is a particular deodorant that you think I should try, then <laughs> please let me know. Um, even though I said I'll repurchase this, I am. Um, I also am of the shiny penny syndrome person kind of. Uh, yeah, I've had that affliction where. I want to try new stuff all the time. And that's pretty cool considering that my YouTube channel, you know, half of its content is about trying new beauty products out. Anyway, I digress. 
Um, yeah, so I, I am really um, happy with the wild. We'll see how fussy fares. Um, and yeah, if there's anything you want me to try out, then then do let me know in the comments. You might know that I have a, an Etsy shop. Um, if you haven't checked it out, then I've put a load of links in the video description. You can link off to uh, to my shop. I sell things like meditation scripts and EFT scripts and personalised um, skincare recommendations and also planners just so you can sort out your life. Um, so yeah, check that out if you haven't done so already. And if you would like a discount for my shop, then join my mailing list and that the details of the mailing list are also in the video description. Thank you so much for being here. It really is wonderful having you here. Remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.